I was expecting uh, many things in South Africa, many changes. I was expecting that I'll get a good ed education in terms of health, security. I thought if South Africa is more severe than Somalia. But I see Somalia and South Africa is the same. There is a regime called Al-Shabaab where you know they will force you to do something to follow their rules. If you don't do it, they will easily kill you. They like always to recruit the, uh, the young boys. That's why first I left Somalia. The situation hasn't improved. The Al-Shabaabs now, they need more people you know, to be on their side. By hook and crook, they need people to recruit. Okay, okay. 500 grams. We are always here inside our shop. We don't go out, we don't uh, uh, bust, uh, maybe participate bust anything or activity or what. We don't have uh, friends. In the night, uh, on uh, weekends, we don't sleep well. Uh, they throw something, uh, stones on us. Some of them, they shout uh, our names. I see if I'm um, in another world underground. The locals, they don't know about, you know, the refugee. They don't know. They see us if we took their country, but we are not. We are here for just to save our lives. You see people, why they are against for foreigners? It's just because me, I'm doing my main business. If the foreigners, they go there, they, they, they charge the people for less price. So me, I can't find a job because I'm a citizen. When, when the foreigners, they get money here in South Africa, they go into their country, they change that man. It's going to be double. If it before, it was better because we don't have this running waters because you know are not too much you are not too much it is a few sharks like now it's full of people sometimes they're making the strikes claim for all those things the houses the water electricity when they make the strike they kill the, some people you know it's that problem The demonstration, it, it, it seems as if it was a peaceful one, 
but there was other guys or dykes who were inside you know the demonstration and started you know things to be an ugly way they attacked us they burned two uh, shops around and they looted the other uh, about 11 shops including mine then the police they tried to intervene but the demonstration was larger than the police they stopped me here they shoot one of, uh, of my workmates you can't predict, you know, when the xenophobia will happen or any time xenophobia have, uh, it can happen. So life is very complicated and hectic. I like to go back one day, but currently I, I don't think so. Because my family back home, they are in need of my help. My brothers are like my children now. I'm the one who is supporting them. Education, food, everything. Maybe when they, they are dependent on themselves, I can do what I want. Sometimes you find you are sick or what, and you don't know what, what's your problem because morally, you know, you are dead. Always you are in a defense, maybe as if you are waiting, someone is coming to you or to kill you or maybe to harm you, or maybe you might <coughs> lose your things or your goods. We're scared, <laughs> we're scared. Always we as if we are as if we are in a battle front line. I don't see if I have a future in South Africa because I will end up in maybe finishing my life like this in in a mess. My brothers, my all my workmates, I see them dying every day, no having uh, anyone to, even to talk about them. Today maybe I'm fine, but the next person maybe it's me. Thank you.